up everybody it's your boy Riku the gear head here with yet another episode today is a special friday well because for two things we're going to be reviewing this bike and the second thing we are going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway the free giveaway the free motorcycle new guard that we announced earlier on um, some few episodes ago now before that one will stick around you'll have to stick around till the end of the video in order to find out if you won or did not remember for for you to win you had to subscribe like and comment in any of our videos and the more you comment the more your chances of winning now if you're new here hello and welcome to the number one channel in east and central africa that brings you great and epic motorcycle content now remember we do post our videos every monday and friday do consider subscribing and give us a Give us a like, it does help out the channel a lot. Now, uh, let's get into the review. This is, like I said, this is a Zontes um, 200J. This is from Bev Mobility. It goes from around um, 165,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, you can get them at Bev Mobility. There's a some few other places that you can get the bike at. Um, some people are selling this one, however, it's uh, a fairly new bike. Um, doesn't have a lot of kilometers on them and uh, from the first impressions of the look or rather the look of the bike the bike is uh, it's quite beautiful i do like the the color scheme i don't know if that's silver or what but i do love um, how the color scheme is it does have um, it's an analog it has an analog tachometer and speedometer we will be talking about that um, pretty, pretty uh, later on yeah it's a 199.8 cc engine single cylinder four stroke engine and uh, that's it. We'll talk about more about the bike as we go on. Anyway, let's get into it. Now, uh, this bike, however, is comfortable, to say the least. Not that bad. But uh, before we even go, as uh, it has somehow become custom, let's get a sound check. Not bad for a cc. Let's get into it. Oh, sold it. I sold it. Oh, that's it. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we I just fueled up and uh. Or rather, the, if you look, there isn't much review about this bike online. Um, the only information, however, that I could find about this bike was on the Beth Mobility website. It says it has a mileage of 2.2 uh, liters for every 100 kilometers. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a typing error or what, but that's what it says. Um, I'm not sure about the mileage on this bike, but however, I am. Uh, from what I know, is but the bike doesn't consume much. If it being a 200cc, I don't think it would consume as much as uh, the Dayun DY200. Now let's talk about this very dash right here. I particularly don't like the dash. I wish Zontes they would go for a rather um, digital slash analog type of dash because um, it does kind of seem outdated, especially with this current day and age and all. It does seem quite outdated. Um, not to throw shade at it, uh, it does work fine, especially. But the one thing that I've noticed um, about this very specific dash is this speedometer. Um, if you look, right now I could be going around 60, but as you can see, the dash is running. It's 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 lagging. It's it's a bit slow. Uh, it's lagging uh, behind, in a way. Look, just look. You see, it says that I'm 60, but I'm actually slowing down. Um, so the, the, the speedometer might throw you off a bit, but uh, that's one thing that I've noticed um, a bit faulty about this bike uh, per se. Now the other thing that I do like about this bike is the very comfort. This bike is comfortable. Um, it's it's new. It does soak up the bumps pretty well. Right now, not in a very smooth way that you could like. Uh, the bike handles well it's it's nimble actually it's lighter lighter than the benelli it, it does come at um, 130 kilograms dry so if you add about um, three liters of uh, fuel that might come around 115 120 max comparing it to the benelli 150 which is 137 kilograms 
I think it's dry and then that bike is quite heavy but uh, we do like it um, and also the sitting position of this bike it's a, it's a full-on seat uh, meaning you can uh, it's not partitioned in any way um, it does can accommodate around two or three people and with the Benelli we will have it's, it's only two seat person yeah the other thing that I noticed about this bike is the vibrations now this bike has quite some vibrations uh, especially when you get to the higher RPMs when you get to around 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 5 to 6,000 RPMs the bike does vibrate a lot at the foot pegs um, I'm not sure the cause of this there's a point of correction the vibrations were due to some uh, mechanical issues that the engine uh, was experiencing however the bike itself I was told earlier on didn't have any issues about the vibrations whatsoever unless you were the high RPMs anyway moving on um, maybe it's uh, something that uh, comes that by default I'm not sure but the bike does vibrate it's, not, it's, it's something that you can get used to quite fast to be honest but uh, f coming from a perspective of a Benelli whereby it's uh, style it's uh, sound and stable um, I, I did quite notice that a lot um, uh, and also thing is the tank the tank is yeah the tank is metallic and like uh, it's metallic all through no fairings the only plastic fairings however the bike has is uh, uh, these extended fairings right here and the, and the, and the dash hood or whatever uh, that's the only thing that I could notice uh, that's different from the Benelli or rather from any other naked bike that I've seen out there I think I'm not sure about the the consumption rates from the website the website does say it has a 2.2 liter uh, mileage for every for every 100 kilometers or so that's what it says I'm not sure uh, but if you're interested more about uh, this bike you can get them at uh, you can contact bed mobility um, on Facebook if you're not if you want a hands-on rather a one-on-one -on -one conversation you can talk to Tris bikes um, she's the one who is the lead, I believe she's the lead marketer of Beth Mobility and their bikes. Okay, now uh, let's do, let's see what kind of speed this bike has. Like I said, the tack, this speedometer might be a bit slow, so maybe you're going to give it a plus or minus, um, let's say 5 kilometers per hour. Uh, maybe oh, 5 kilometers is a bit high, maybe let's say 2 kilometers per hour. Now we're going to be we're going to go somewhere that is uh, a bit safe and safe uh, uh, with no without a lot of cars, but we can hopefully and, uh, graciously push this bike and see what kind of speed we can get. Now, how does this bike compare to the likes of uh, Benelli and uh, and the the, 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 the Yun GY200, the Yun 200? How does this bike compare? Well, first of all, I'm going to compare it to the Suzuki, no, rather not the Suzuki, but I'm going to compare it to the Benelli, the Benelli TNT 150 and the TNT 250. I'm going to compare it to, not the 250, um, I digress, but I'm going to compare it to the 150. I'm going to compare it to the TNT 150 and the, uh, the Dayun DY200 because I've ridden both bikes. Um, I do, however, know how. Uh, I've, I've, I can sense, I can tell the difference between the two. First of all, the, diff, uh, the one thing that, that is different from all the other bikes is the seat height. This bike feels a bit higher. It feels a bit, the seat height feels a bit higher than the Benelli, um, the Benelli TNT and the Dayun DY200 all combined together. I'm not sure the kind of uh, seat height it has, it's not stated. Um, in the it's not stated in the in the in the website but however if you do know the seat height of this bike kindly let me know in the comment section below um so that if you are if somebody there might be someone out there who is interested in this bike and all yeah and the other thing that i can tell the difference from this bike are the handlebars now these ones are they are sort of uh, when you when you compare the handlebars between the benelli the the zonde uh, 200j and the dayun dy100 the one with the highest um, height of bars, I'd say, is the uh, Dayun DY200, followed by this Zontes 200J, and the last being the Benelli TNT 150. 
reason being is I think it has uh, been someone with the long arms like mine um, it does feel comfortable enough even over the long stretches um, of the duration on the road but the other thing uh, it does have uh, some uh, telescopic front shocks and some double um, dual shocks at the no, not dual shocks it has two shocks at the rear each left and right the other difference I'd say however is this uh, of, of course the speed the speed is different this is a uh, 199.8 cc engine uh, the Dayun, however, I'm not sure what CC it is, but I'm going to check it later. And also, the the, the Benelli, of course, is a 150 CC engine. Now, let's try and see the speed, the speed that we can achieve of this bike. Ooh, corner. Okay, so however, I did manage to get close to 120 kilometers per hour. But one thing that I've noticed about this bike, it's quite unstable. There's a few times that I almost did the wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, you should not try this at home or anywhere else unless you know what you're doing. So, however, I, was, I did manage to get to around 120 kilometers per hour. And uh, the bike on the higher speeds is crazy it's so it's mind-blowing not in a good way the bike is quite unstable i could feel the bike waver a bit um it was shaking a lot unlike the benelli 20 150 this bike even though it's fast and everything uh we should definitely be careful when you're doing high speeds man wow but however i do like the brakes the brakes have performed superbly well. They are 240mm discs um, at the front and at the rear. Wow, I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking from all the... how close I was. The instability is due to its, its weight. It is lighter. You could really get into some uh, big trouble uh, with this bike. And uh, it really requires um, some quite some discipline if you know. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, um, please don't go the higher speed. Leave it to the professionals, or those who know what you're doing. Um, yeah. So um, I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to kind of sort of wrap up uh, this um, this first impressions of the of the of the Zonte's 200J. Now to summarize it all, it is a 199.8 cc single cylinder four stroke engine uh, that is air cooled. The produces about uh, that goes around 120 kilometers per hour max speed which I do not recommend reaching because the bike is quite unstable I think this is partially due to its weight which comes at around 133 no rather 113 kilograms um, drive yeah uh, the other thing it has is a 240 millimeter disc brakes at the front and the rear telescopic shocks um, at the front and the two two um, individual um, rear uh, shock absorbers at the rear. The tires at the front it does come with a 90. I'm not sure. I don't know what the number is. It's a 90. And at the rear we do have a one uh, 131. But I'm sure you, you could kind of increase the size um, to 140 if you wanted to. The bike is quite fast. Um, being partially because uh, first of all it is light making it a bit easier on the engine to go a bit faster and uh, it's not it's not recommended uh, rather I do not recommend for you to go fast on this very bike the other thing that we I, I noticed was the tachometer it does come with an analog one however the, the, the rest of the things are fine but I do find that the speedometer is a bit slow okay yeah so that's it for the review did you like this video um, 
Remember, if you're interested in this bike, you can get them at Breath Mobility. I will post their link to their page on Facebook. And, and also, I will post up uh, Tree's bike's number and her contact if you, however, you are interested. These bikes go for around 165,000 Kenya shillings. Now, did you like this video? Was it informative? Um, if so, if there's something else that I've left out, please let me know in the comment section below. I do love reading and replying to all your comments. Now, before uh, I will, before I end this video, well, I'm going to end it. Then uh, later on, I'm going to announce um, the winner of the giveaway that we had for the motorcycle. We were giving away some free motorcycle uh, riding mega. However, remember as the family grows, so will our giveaways be. And in order to win in the next um, giveaway, which we'll be yet to discuss, uh, all you have to do is subscribe, like and comment in the videos below um, in order to increase your chances of winning. Now, like I said before, um, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It does help the channel a lot. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Um, how amazing is that? Now we're a long way from a thousand subscribers, but uh, we'll get there eventually. If you enjoyed this video, like I said once again, give, uh, give us a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't to practice social distancing. And, uh, and until next time, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.